Hello everybody. Today we're going to do a coolant change on my Saturn here. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while, it's for about a year or so. Um, I have not known what type of coolant is in here. I know in the coolant reservoir it does look like it's green, um, but it was recently changed. And usually when that happens, uh, especially with GM vehicles, uh, if you bring it to like a quick lube place or something, all they do is drain the coolant out of the radiator. Uh, the problem with that is GM uses Dexcool, and Dexcool and green coolant don't mix very well. It turns into a gel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and replace it today. So first what I've done is already taken off the cap. Uh, I've been letting this cool for a while now. Um, next thing you're going to need to do is actually remove the coolant. And to do that, let's go underneath. Now first things first, you're going to need to drain the coolant out of the radiator. Now since this is a sealed system, um, you have this petcock here. Now the problem with mine is somebody broke it, so I'm going to have to be careful when I pull this out. Uh, and then the second place to uh, allow it to drain is actually over here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. Let me see if I can flip this around. Uh, right there in the center is actually a bolt, and that bolt sits right there is the drain for, I believe it is right behind the thermostat. Uh, so that will actually clean, uh, get all the fluid out from uh, basically the engine block and I think it'll also get what's out of the, um, the heater core. So we'll go ahead and clear all that fluid out and we'll move on to the next step. this was on the engine block I just uh, pulled off that drain cock or actually it was a bolt um, and well the bolts sitting right there in the fluid as you can see it's got a little bit of a looks like an orangish tint to it I think this got mixed so uh, it's a good thing that I am doing this uh, let me finish fish that thing out of there put that uh, that plug back in and we will continue with the next step now you notice there actually is no need to uh, pull the fluid out of the reservoir uh, because it'll just drain out of the uh, out of the radiator. So just leave this. I'm actually going to pull this off in just a minute because I want to clean this out. If you notice around the edges, there's what looks like some sort of gunk. Um, I believe that might be from uh, the green coolant and the Dex Cool uh, mixing together, and that's what causes. I believe that's what it causes. So. Uh, we'll clean this out, use some mild soap and water to clean it out, and be careful. I think there's actually a sensor in here that uh, detects low level, so uh, you don't want to break that. So be careful when you clean this out. And just as I thought, there is a sensor on the bottom of this coolant reservoir. Uh, so go ahead and just unpop, unplug that and uh, you can remove the coolant reservoir. All right, I've got some flush fluid here. I'm gonna run this through my radiator in the coolant system just to see if I can flush any, some of the, any of the hard stuff that I've been seeing come uh, to get it out. Um, because the mixture of Dexcool and um, the green antifreeze um, the glycol antifreeze might uh, leave some deposits. You may want to see if you can get that out and do and be, using this gets you a really good flush. Um, now the first time I'm going to run this with some regular tap water. Uh, afterwards I would actually do a rinse flush with some uh, distilled water. Um, now it is recommended to do it with uh, distilled water when you're doing this but I, I guess I was being a little too cheap and didn't want to order or uh, buy an extra two gallons of distilled water just to do this. So 
Um, I'm going to run this with regular tap water just to clean it, and then I'm going to use the rest of it um, with distilled. Those two first two gallons will probably be for the flush uh, cycle, and then the last two that you see over there will be used for um, topping it off. So let's get this started. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start her up. I'm gonna help if I pressed on the clutch. Now, she's in neutral. I'm gonna go down, turn it full blast, all the way to hot, basically everything to the max. That is reached operating temperature, at least for what my car runs. Um, don't mind the coolant sensor there. I forgot to plug it up, but I'll be taking the, the uh, coolant reservoir off again just to rinse it out. Um, once it reaches this, I'll let it run for about 10 minutes. I think it's been running for about eight or nine. I'm gonna let it run for a few more minutes before I uh, shut it off and let it cool. Uh, this, it, I, I know this is gonna be a time-consuming project, uh, basically because you're letting it warm up, then cool down. Rinse is going to need to warm up again, and then cool down, then drain, and then now, after that, you're gonna put, put your coolant in. So you're gonna be doing this, it looks like at least three times. So patience is a virtue, and, and let us uh, get to where I can cool this down, and we will continue from there. hot and steamy in that cab. All right, let's repeat that process one more time. And as you can see, even with a, uh, the initial draw, you didn't get all the coolant out. So this is why you do a couple of flushes. Um, I think I actually have distilled water to do it twice, so I may do that. So let's get the distilled water in here. We're just going to do straight distilled water this time. Uh, and this should uh, uh, at least get most of the old coolant out and that cleaner too. So let's, let's get this taken care of. Let me go grab the distilled water. All right. This is straight distilled water. We're going to go ahead and pour it in. Do it slowly. I uh, should have been using a... Whoops. Let's, let's actually push the bottle here. There we go. should have actually been using a jug rather than a garden hose the first time, but shouldn't really make an issue of it. It is slowly draining, so it, this, this will take a few minutes to uh, start getting some of those bubbles out. Um, I'm going to start the car up and it'll probably draw all the fluid that's in the reservoir now. So you just want to watch it and uh, keep adding until it will no longer take any fluid. It's one gallon. I'm 
Let's go ahead and actually start the car up. And once again, repeat the process, let it warm up. Keep an eye on your reservoir level. Uh, you want to keep adding until, like I said, until it uh, completely fills up and is no longer taking fluid. Uh, run it up to operating temp temperature, let it run for another 10 minutes or so, and then repeat the process again. So I'm going to cut off here just to save some time, and I will pick up when I shut the car off again. While we wait for that second uh, cycle to run through, uh, let's go ahead and mix the coolant. Now I have a uh, concentrated mix here. Uh, what I'm going to do is take one of those uh, distilled water jugs that are empty and we're going to fill it halfway up with this coolant here. Uh, and then after that, take uh, a brand new bottle and then just divide it between the two here. And then you'll have two uh, four quart jugs of 50-50 mix. Now, if I'm not mistaken, a uh, Saturn takes seven quarts, so you should basically use all of this setup right here. Um, so let's get that taken care of. Pretty darn close. All right, we will recap these. Wait until that finishes up its cycle, drain it one more time, and we'll fill her back up. All right, last time pulling these off. Finally, this time I didn't drop it.
actually liking how clear the water is now. This is after two rinses, one clean, and then two rinses. So, this is really what you should be seeing before you put coolant back in. This means you've pretty much gotten all the, all the residual coolant and cleaner out, uh, and you're basically starting new. So it looks like it's uh, pretty much done again, and we will uh, go ahead and plug them back up and top it off. All right, now that you've got all the plugs tightened up and secure, also make sure, uh, what the one thing I've been saying is uh, make sure that uh, sensor down underneath this is hooked up before you start pouring this, pouring the coolant in. Also, there are those two 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, tighten those up. Also, uh, make sure there is a clamp right here that is tight. And make sure this clamp is tight if you remove this. Um, I'll tighten that up in just a second, but let me fill this up with some coolant. Now this is 50-50 mix. We just mixed that a couple minutes ago. Go ahead and just fill this entire thing up. Alright, now that was four quarts. Let's go ahead and start it up. two levels here. There's a little small level right here that's uh, minimum cold and this is max cold. I've actually got it right here so we'll give it a few minutes. It looks like it's still going down. I've already used another looks like a quart or so out of this bottle. We'll let it run for a few minutes to make sure it'll get those bubbles out. I'm actually in this reservoir see that bar right up there. Um, that actually, I believe, symbolizes the max cold level. So, usually if your coolant level is right around there, you should be okay. Actually, I think for the most part, all the bubbles are gone. You're going to let it run for a little bit. Um, actually, it'd probably be a good idea to drive it around for a little while. Uh, maybe like if you drive long distances like I do, uh, keep a coolant bottle with you in your car, and as you're driving, the fluid will continue to, to move through. It'll get all the smaller air pockets, all the bigger air pockets out, and uh, just top off as needed. So, like I said, I believe this takes about seven quarts, and uh, once you uh, use all that fluid, and once you uh, get it all topped off, this is ready to go. You're good. You're done. So I hope you found this uh, video a little helpful for you. I've um, been wanting to do this for a while, so finally got a chance to do it and, and was able to film it for you. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them in the uh, comments section below. And as always, have a nice day.